Assalamu alaikum friends, this is Sami from Civil Engineers and today in this video lecture I'm gonna talk about some basic civil engineering notes. That's why because many civil engineering students uh, need basic notes. So therefore today uh, we are talking about for basic notes. So let's start. If the video is helpful for you, so like the video and subscribe the channel for more civil engineering updates. So here the first point is very important for every civil engineer but especially which are working on construction site, right? This is very basic. That m20 grade we have different uh, grade of concrete uh, like uh, m m5 m7.5 m10 m15 m20 so m20 grade of concrete is generally used in the construction of slab so in the construction of slab when you are doing concrete in rcc slab so you should use m20 grade concrete but you should not use m15 grade concrete right so the second one is weight of bar is weight of bar weight of steel bar is calculated using formula d square divided by 162 so you can you can find the weight of steel per meter weight of steel per 1 meter d square divided by 162 where d is die of steel bar in millimeter die of steel bar should be in millimeter so with this formula you can find weight of steel bar per meter kg per meter right here the third one is the number of bricks required for one meter cube of brick masonry are 550 bricks so in one cubic meter we can use 550 bricks or in interview if they use or if they ask a question from you that how many bricks are required for one meter cube so we need 550 bricks for one meter cube or for one cubic meter now here the fourth one is standard size of brick is 19 centimeter is the length and the width is 9 centimeter and the thickness or the depth is 4 centimeter or 19 centimeter or 9 centimeter by 9 centimeter right as per is four five six two thousand maximum dia of Maximum dia of bar used in RCC slab should not be exceed one by fourth of total thickness of the slab. Remember, guys, that as per IS 4562000 code, you are able to learn that what is the maximum dia of steel bar should be used in RCC slab. So it should not be exceed more than one by fourth of total thickness of the slab. Right? For example maximum you can use if the thickness of the rcc slab is eight inches for example so you can use one inch die of steel bar or by this formula one by eight you can use right now here the other one is is four five six two thousand code is used for the practice of plain and rc reinforced concrete is four five six two thousand in this code you can uh, you can uh, learn about or you can check about code of practice for plain cement concrete and also for reinforced concrete right and for is 800 2000 code is practice for general steel construction so for general steel construction if you want to know something so there you can search is 800 2000 right now the other one is the slope of pitch of the stairs should be in between 25 degree to 40 degree so i will explain you here for example this is the height of flight and this is the run so the angle of pitch should be sorry here this should be 25 degree between 25 degree to 40 degree right this is the suitable angle of this tier is right now here the other one is the rise in stairs is in between 150 millimeter to 200 millimeters so you can see here this is a riser so the riser size should be between 150 millimeter to 200 millimeter this one right now we have the trade this is trade so the trade and staircase in between 250 millimeter to 300 millimeter so between 250 
and 300 millimeter you can take what straight and for riser 150 millimeter to 200 millimeter right now the other one is here hook length should not be less than 9d where d is dia of bar what is hook you can see here this is lateral tie lateral ties lateral tie okay and this is hook this hook length this one from this point to this one that should be or we can take the length of this hook with 9d where d is die of bar right now here the other one is unit weight of pcc is 24 kilonewton per meter cube or per cubic meter or for rcc is reinforced cement concrete weight is or density is 25 kilonewton per meter cube and for steel is 87 7850 kg per meter cube these are very important okay PCC, RCC, and steel density are unit weight. And the volume of volume of 50 kg cement is 1.25 CFT. Right? Now cement more than three months old cannot be used for construction. Or don't use cement if its age is more than three months. Within three months, you are able to use the cement for construction works otherwise more than three months we should not use cement for that right that's not suitable to gain more strength and the last one is the length of each bar from factory is 12 meter at the center length of steel bar is 12 meter from factory so these are some useful points which i have discussed the front of you so if you have any question about this video so you just comments i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in the next video goodbye